All right, guys, again. Um, yeah, I was talking yesterday about uh, I was going to do some reviews for some stuff. Well, I said a lot yesterday. Didn't really know what I was saying, to be honest, but rambling a bit, probably. Just like now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I was talking about doing some reviews. And uh, I didn't know where to start because I've never done a review. Um, so I thought... I was scratching around looking at some of the stuff I wanted to review and I thought the easiest thing to go for was this, um, it's actually a music video, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a music video by a band called uh, Die, D-Y-E, um, I think there's the track is called Fantasy, it's not actually a song because there's no music, there's no words, sorry, it's just music. But if anyone knows what I'm talking about, it the video, the music video is pure Lovecraft. It's fantastic. I don't know the reasoning behind, um, you know, what the music's got to do with Lovecraft or why they went for that theme. But it is really, really fantastic. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to run you through sort of do a review of it and sort of they'll probably, you know, if anyone wants to watch it first and then come back and listen but um yeah i'm obviously going to tell you go into detail of the stuff that's in it but it, it's it's it really sh took me by surprise when i first watched it because it's kind of it really sort of strikes a chord with the sort of sort of you know cosmic horror sci-fi horror element that I'm, I'm really into and um yeah i well anyway so this is how it goes it starts off and it's um the music's playing and it's it, it you know it kind of does um the music does actually fit the video it, you listen to it and it gives you a kind of spooky sort of um eerie sort of sense and it starts off with these four i'm guessing teenagers two boys two girls breaking into this swimming pool i'm guessing at a school or something and uh yeah, they break in. And the lad jumps down. It's a little bit, um, a little bit racy, a little bit, you know, erotic. You could call it. If you see, it's, it's drawn. It's like it's almost like manga. What I think. I mean, I'm not an expert on manga, but from what I know of manga, it kind of looks manga-ish. Um. Yeah, and it's sort of they break in, lower themselves down, and uh, there's there's a, a couple. To, he's one of these lad and this girl are obviously together and they go swimming and they you know getting it on a bit in the pool and then there's this other these are this other girl and this lad and this girl's really sort of shy and this lad's trying to trying to take it easy but he's, he's obviously interested and um so yeah this couple that are obviously together jump in have a, you know a bit of a good time it's all drawing, um, and as you progress, you see how uncomfortable this other girl is with this lad. And um, oh, hold on one sec, one sec. Right, I'm back. I know I paused it. It seemed like I was gone no time. But yeah, I just had to get my facts straight about it for trying to remember it. Um, but yeah, anyway, this this couple. There's this, this, the, the young girl who's a bit shy, the lad goes in for a kiss and she sort of pulls away and goes and jumps in the pool and she, she floats underwater for a little, little while and as, opens her eyes and suddenly I think she gets a pain in her belly and so she jumps out, sits on the side of the pool and like the lad that tried to kiss her comes over and sort of sees if she is okay and at which point another figure walks over and she just pulls this look of terror. And then the lad she's with looks round, pulls the same face, and he pulls back and you see this other couple they were with. And they are just like freaky, pale, weird sort of shade to their skin. And they've got like the, the lad's got like a tentacle arm that leads well, it leads up the girl <laughs> up the girl he's with. If you know what I mean, and uh, it's really creepy. And then this foot, this this tentacle arm or whatever, it's like this 
thing comes out of her. And, uh, yeah, there's a lad that she's with, sort of, he pukes. And this girl, the shy girl, runs off. And at uh, which point, the lad, the other lad, who's now transformed into this freaky, hideous thing, he sort of thrashes out his tentacle at this lad. And then the, the girl, who's with the, the freak, the transformed thing, runs at this lad. And the uh, uh, whole of her head just transforms into this huge mouth with teeth. And she obviously chomps on him. And uh, meanwhile, the girl, the shy girl, is desperately trying to get out, out of a door. Um, and then she tries a window. She tries to get back out of the window they came in. It's not happening. And then uh, the lad, the freaky lad, transformed lad, whatever the hell he is, I don't know. I don't really understand the meaning behind it or what the hell's happened. But he comes over and his whole head just lifts out and turns into, again, like another tentacle with a razor sharp teeth on the end. It's just a creepy looking thing. It's pure Lovecraft. It's fantastic. <laughs> Disgusting, but fantastic. And, uh, oh yeah, oh, there's another bit, yeah. It's like something out of the thing. Um, another one of the lad. The tentacle thing happens with a lad. And his head turns into the tentacle with the teeth. And then it turns back to the girl. And it's it's like something out of Silent Hill. And it's like the lad that she's just eaten is on top of her head, fused with her. And then they're writhing around. It's disgusting. And, um, yeah, they're both coming after this girl. So she dives back into the pool. Straight into the water. And this is where it gets real Lovecraftian. And, and I, this blew my mind, this last bit. She uh, dives to the bottom of the pool. <clears throat> and she just... and There's no floor. She goes straight through this... I can only describe as a, a, a gateway. A portal. Whatever. But it's it's real. Like... Um, oh, I can't think of the word. Forget it. Anyway, so she goes to the bottom of the pool and she goes through this portal where she comes out the other side of this... She comes up to the surface of a, obviously a different pool, but it ain't like a, a neat swimming pool. It's like a sinkhole in the ground. It's just like stone, rocks and stuff like that. And she obviously looks, crawls out, looks around. And as you're... She, it pulls back from her... Like a, like a, almost like a, an aerial shot of her. And as you see her, this, this, the shade comes across, like, almost like the sun coming up. And it shows you the, the, the panoramic view of where she is. She's on this cliff top. And, um, obviously the pool's growing, glowing green behind her. And, uh, you just see the, 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 the scenery of what she's, where she is. And it's just this otherworldly realm, this other dimensional place. I don't really, you know, it's cool. It's, it's the kind of thing I, I picture in my head all the time. That's why it, it's almost straight out of my head, you know. This, this image of this otherworldly realm, it's straight out of my head. It's fantastic, it's great. I use that word a lot, don't I? Fantastic. Is that getting a bit tedious? You know, I'll think of a new one. Anyway... So she, she sets her eyes on this, this this realm, this dimension that she's in, this rocky land, alien world. And uh, you do a close-up of her eye, and her eyes start to tremble, and all these bloodshot sort of veins come into it. And um, suddenly it pulls back, and she's her eyes just like, it's like this fire blast, fireball rips through her eyes. And her eyes just explode and she sort of flings her arms back and she's it's obviously this this power surging that she she's obviously seen just straight out of a Lovecraft novel, she's seen something that human eyes were never supposed to see. And it, it, her mind, her body can't take it, and she's just destroyed. And uh yeah, you see that happen, and as she slumps to the floor, 
and uh, it pulls back and you see the scenery of what she's seen. Obviously it's the, the scenery of the land and the rocks and the... Um, but it pulls back and there's this just huge sort of almost silhouetted creature. It's just massive. It's like Godzilla's got nothing on this thing. You know, neither, neither is Cthulhu. Um, and there's like a sort of like a, it's almost like a, a planet with a ring. You know, it's like a Saturn type behind this creature, which is creating the uh, silhouette. So you can't really see much detail of it. But um, as you sort of, and this is where the song ends, and the screen, as it comes, pans up towards the creature's head, it, the, the screen fades out. But you can just make out, sort of, it's got huge legs and sort of like tentacly sort of seaweedy hair just flowing. And then you can see, I assume they're two green eyes. I think they're two green eyes. And actually, no, they might not be because there's another one on his head. And they kind of look like it's got horns as well. But it's just so freaky and out of the uh, ordinary. But it's just it's just fantastic. <laughs> I'll just use that word again. I'm sorry. Apologies. Um, but, you know, and, and that's where it fades out. And it gives you just enough of a glimpse to be like, what the, what the hell was that? Now, I mean, if someone wasn't into sort of Lovecraft and stuff like that, they... They probably wouldn't care, but it really struck a chord with me because, like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, I need a drink. One sec. My voice is starting to go. What was I saying? Um, yeah, this, this, these visuals that you could have pulled pulled them out of my head. They're that striking, and they 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 strike a chord within my head because it's just what I imagine. It is one of the best, um, one of the best Lovecraftian type short things I've ever seen. It's just, it's just brilliant. Um, hold on one sec. Oh, I'm back. I had to pause it. Sorry. Again, I told you I was an amateur. Amateur, whatever. But yeah, uh, just recapping on it all. The uh, the creatures in the pool at the beginning, you know. They just look great. They really do look great. You know, a big applause to the, uh, the, the to the artist that drew it. It's it's really good, and um, just the concept of the swimming pool, the gateway to another dimension, the dimensional portal. It's such a good idea. It's such a good concept. Like I watch this 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 music video, and you just think some of these aspects to it would be they'd just be they'd be amazing in a film you know i don't know if you could make a whole film based on this music video but it would be a a great jumping off point you know and just just taking it to you know the movie to i don't know where you'd lead it to you'd need some good writers on it not some of these crappy ones that write you know come up with the crap that hollywood does where they've got no imagination whatsoever. You'd need one of these people that that make stuff for, you know, online short films because they've got the the real creative imagination. But it could be such a good movie. It's such a good movie. It's such a good concept. But um, and just the visuals, like I say, when she comes out of the pool and it's just this broken sort of broken rocky pool or sinkhole whatever whatever it was but it just looks great and the creature it's like what the hell is it what the hell is it but um yeah it's uh it, yeah again the uh, video the, 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 the if you type it into youtube you'll find it it's the dye dash fantasy i'm guessing that the, the name of the band is die and the song is tune the track is called fantasy but yeah any 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 lovecraft fan needs to see this music video it's, it's just brilliant it really is so uh yeah i suggest you go and take a look at it and uh yeah make your own mind up i hope i haven't ruined it for you but um yeah
I think I'll end it there because I'm kind of rambling again now. I don't, like I said, I don't. It's my first one I've done. Um, again, it's kind of just a test for what's going to follow. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. Anyway, thanks for listening. If you did, <laughs> if you didn't, don't worry about it. Anyway, good night.